Day 47. Day 47. Well rested. We're leaving Walpole. The inlet this morning is such a sight. Birds are fishing. There's a smoke haze. Makes everything look a bit otherworldly somehow for some reason makes me want to speak very quietly this is magic <laughs> we're all we're all we're all avid photographers this morning this is the leisurely pace we should be going at all the time isn't it <laughs> weather weather allows here's our first marker of the day What a sight. If you're down Walpole Way, make sure you come and give yourself a leisurely stroll around the inlet of a morning. Splendid. Just got to read the notes. You go, you go forward. Right. Go forward. That says, okay, so veer left past, hang on, veer left following Bitchman Path, yeah. high above the water's edge. Yeah. Um, walkers are encouraged to leapfrog over the bollards. That's what it says. Oh, so go. we got to leapfrog over, over the, the bollards. bollards. Uh, hang on, hang, hang on. Failing that, failing that, walkers must weave between them oh, in an to, elegant fashion. Now I've got to weave between them. In an elegant fashion. Did you say weave? Weave. Oh, weave. Between them in an elegant fashion. Points will be given. Points will be given for elegance. That's what the notes say. Oh, I'm doing the action. <laughs> that was a long game, that one. We've climbed a sturdy climb up what I think is known as Douglas Hill from the inlet via the hilltop walk. We are now in fantastic tingle country. Here's an old red tingle here. Well, to the size of the men and the size of the tree. What a beauty. The red tingle is a species that dates back to Gondwana. We're also amongst these beautiful carry she oaks. And there are carries as well. Carry oak, 
carry hazel, which is smelling sweet. This is a fabulous forest, well worth the climb. Uh, we're soon to be following the path of the Franklin River. I'll just talk a little bit about the tingles. I mean, tingle trees, and I think there are three varieties, red, yellow, and sorry, I don't know the other. Um, and they really only grow in this very small part of the world between Denmark and Walpole. And it's so fortunate that the geography of Walpole, Walpole Inlet, and the rivers is such that it was just too difficult to log them and move the timber. And that has helped to save them. So the size of this tree that's come down, it's an old red tingle. So there's everything growing up on the edge of it there. And I think this is what they refer to as the tingle cave. Get in here without falling over. Oh, yeah, look at this. This is so immense. Uh, the size of this tree. And this is the uh, the base of it that's it's fallen down. It's huge. Look at this for a hut. Franklin River. Up on stilts. Good morning, day 48, heading from uh, Franklin to Giants campsite, only 15k today but nice to overcast weather, perfect walking conditions and happy birthday to Pockets, happy birthday! Ta-da! 
carrying in some wine to camp, so we'll have a little drink tonight. Yeah, not much though, because we've got to walk again tomorrow. Uh, Franklin's great little campsite, right by the river. And it's up on platforms as well, which is something a bit different. Um, yeah, back into the Tingle Forests again, after Warpole. Um, for another day, and then I think tomorrow we'll start heading back down to the coast. Um, yeah, another good day ahead. Change shoes in Walpole. My old ones getting a bit worn out and flat, so I'm back into the shoes that I've been wearing for training and things. But they've developed a squeak. Look, having frogs walking with me. Weird. Hmm. Now, what we have here is a classic bracken trap. Step on with one foot and solid trip with the other bracken trap. Day 50. Tingle Town. <sighs> Check out this tingle. Strong and healthy growing up there. When you look down here at the base, the hollow butt, it's astonishing to think that this could possibly be alive. Oh, it's a forest elf. <laughs> You're a hollow butt. <laughs> <laughs> on on <laughs> so we've made it to the valley of the giants and like a little oasis for Kath Kath's birthday out pops a coffee van
morning. Day 50. Uh, leaving Giant's campsite. Heading to Rain's Head. So we're heading out, out of these tingle trees. These big monsters. These are glorious, these trees. You know, three, four hundred years old, some of these. Um, and heading back down towards the coast. Down to Rames, uh, Rames Head Hut campsite. So about 18 kilometers. Uh, low 20s today. A little, little bit of sun, maybe. Once again, great. Just great hiking conditions. And glorious out here. Uh, possibly have spent our last night with the school groups. They've been great. Really well behaved, actually, and uh, yeah, quite fun to camp with. Hold on, I'm being called. And we've, uh, we've just come across this this named tingle. She's called the Pleated Princess. Look at that. This is one of these Beautiful. fabulous days on the track where we're going to pass through a number of different environments or systems. So we are saying goodbye and finalising our tangle with the tingle. Carry. And scary sword grass. Scary because I always think there are Joe Blakes in there. Anyway, we think that already we can hear the powerful Southern Ocean crashing. It's possible. We're heading now towards the highway as well, crossing the highway, and then a little bit of our old friend Rail Formation. Eventually then, after that, we will hit some dune formations today. Dunes, beach, cliffs, you name it, this day's got it all. Let's get ready to rumble. I don't know where that came from. There'll be no rumbling here, except from the ocean. <laughs> Patoot, patoot. <laughs> this is part of the old railway line um, used for logging between uh, sort of between Nornalup and uh, Denmark, we think. Um, well, we know, and we've we've done a day walk on on this um, on this section, and the bib is running along a little part of it now. Ladies and gentlemen, here's a reference tree. And this one, whoop, you can just see the reference numbers on there. It's the last reference tree for walkers heading south. And so we want to dedicate this find to our good friends, Simone, Jenny and Fee. Yes. Great finders of reference trees. Completers of side quests. <laughs> on, on. excellent wildflower action happening well. amongst the flies oh that's the I think the southern cross flower before it opens up uh -huh. it's pink opens up to the big white cross 
flies. Oh my god, sorry, couldn't do that anymore. Oh, waving you around. That was outrageous, just how many were crawling on my hand. Anyway, back to the wildflowers. these cut out all these messy bits in the middle thanks Howie Post. specky new flowers first time we've seen you look at the, the growth on these So many, not very many flies. I'm not a fly. I'm covered in flies. Covered. So we've just come out of the Tingle Forest and back up into, uh, we're heading back down to the coast. A great little bit of farm fields and stuff to walk alongside for a while. But off in the distance, where is it? There, is West Cape Howe. And that's one of our camps, and we will be walking past there eventually. So, Albany is on the far side of that. Is that that little one? Right at the end, where is it? There. Probably about a week or so we'll be there. It's amazing to be able to look that far into the distance and see how far we've got to go. And when we get there, we can look back. <laughs> Must be time for a break. Look who we'd find. Hold on. Hold on. It's Bob and George. Hello, hello. Hello. Not a bad spot. beautiful place and then we just realized we might have to get our feet wet no we don't Whew, what a roller coaster that was what a spectacular place
da frente. Up there somewhere, that's conspicuous cliffs. Be impressed with this dune stabilization that's going on here, supporting the path. It certainly makes it easier to walk, but it's also going to help keep these dunes in the state that they need to be in. So, thanks for your work, guys. Hard work, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, we were there, just there, uh, about an hour ago, maybe. Probably not even that. Um, and about there is Warpole, where we were two days ago. Two days. Three days ago. And the Nazi wilderness way out there. Alright. Team Carrad. Team Carrad. <laughs> One, two, three. Done. Thanks, Good call. Thanks for that. We've got tonight. Got me goring. Veg. Probably a little bit of deb. Roast lamb and veggies. Martin's got. Macaroni. Macaroni. Tomato soup. And tomato soup. Gourmet. Mm -hmm. Oh, happening. With a view. <laughs> Fine dining. Fine dining, huh? And we can watch the storm roll in. Fish and chips tomorrow night, though. <laughs> 